I used to love the nightlife and hang out in a bar. I used to hit the bottom, but then I hit a car. I'm laid up in a wheelchair, paralyzed for life. Got money through a settlement to see me through the strife. My attitude is different now, the future's not so bleak. I even got a mansion and thrown it for free. It's my life, such as it is. Such as it is, such as it is! My seven friends are with me, they're brilliantly deformed. I got a girl called Franny, my shoulder from the storm. Don't touch your points of pity, the hard times never last. Without a leg to stand on, I still manage to kick ass! It's my life, such as it is. My life, such as it is. Such as it is! Oh my lord, are all these people going to our group? Hey, why the hell are they parking in my handicapped spaces? Uh, excuse me, Riley, but you don't have a car. Well, it's a good thing. Why don't they walk? They've all got feet. Uh, do they ever? How could you, of all people, have a foot fetish? Hey, it's all I stare at all day. It's like prisoners turning gay. Only, not as bad, right? Hello, boys. Coming in? What's going on? Did you start a support group for people addicted to cell phones? Oh, damn, I barely noticed. Oh! Shit. <laughs> the truth is, the center's been going through a rough financial time. What happened to all the money from the donation tins? Well, I made the mistake of letting one of our epileptics take it to the bank. Got scattered like confetti. Why didn't you have someone pick it up? I did. Sadly, it was the kleptomaniacs. The point is, we had to give up half our space to a coffee bar. Coffee drinkers get all the breaks. It's just as addictive as alcohol, but there's no age requirement or last call. And not only can you drive after drinking it, you can drive while drinking it. You're telling me that we have to share our building with that group of soy latte drinking freaks? It's not enough. I'm 12 inches tall and a dysfunctional wreck. I gotta listen to some yuppie a-hole describe how he likes to grind his beans. Blazer, relax. Hey, what the? All right. Maybe this coffee bar thing isn't so bad. That's the spirit, so it'll be a little crowded. Some of us are used to that from the projects. Right, bro? Mm -hmm. It don't matter how whack your crib is, so long as you've got your peace with you. You know what I'm saying? I think she's talking to you. Debbie's right. Insane, but right. Who knows? The physical closeness might even help us overcome our emotional obstacles. Yeah, then hopefully you can deal with your suicidal feelings so you can quit screwing around and finally go throw with it. We may not be able to afford any room soon, especially if I keep buying these $7 lattes. <laughs> oh no, this is terrible. We won't be able to have our meetings anymore. I felt we were on the verge of a major breakthrough. Don't despair. If need be, Sister Butch Johnson has <gasps> graciously volunteered the church basement. <laughs> This elevator is mighty uncomfortable. Maybe I just take the stairs. <gasps> Boy, this would really hurt if I had any feeling in my limbs. <laughs> this place means too much to us. The the good times, the memories, the really great food in the vending machines. We can't move. So. All we have to do is come up with some way to raise the money to keep the center open. How about a talent show? Come on, guys. We can think of something. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. I never knew you cared so much about the community. I got it. We'll cut down all the city trees and sell the firewood to the dump so they can use it to burn tires. <laughs> ah! Look, why don't we just sell our blood? How much blood could you have? Okay, we'll sell your blood. I'm telling you, a talent show at Grizz's Bar would be great! 
how about a celebrity bowling tournament? Just a small thing. My bowling score really dropped off when I lost the use of my arms. Come on! A talent show! What better way to demonstrate to everyone that we're not the dregs of society they think we are? No other ideas? Fine! We'll do the lousy talent show. Don't worry! I have enough talent in my little pinky to carry the whole show. Why am I not reassured? Oh, thanks again for letting us hold the show here. <laughs> yeah, but I still think we have enough entertainment already. What entertainment? <laughs> well, there's the fly circus. And of course, the hallucinations. That's it, shake it, baby, shake it. That's it, baby, shake Don't it. Don't worry, this will be great for business. <laughs> oh. I hope. Good evening, ladies and joints. Are you in the mood for some comedy? Some music? Some dance? If it's great entertainment you want, go to O'Malley's down the street. They really know how to do it. So, anyone here from out of town? Anyone willing to go out of town so that I can sleep with your wife? And pull out a rabbit! <laughs> and now, my interpretive dance, Panic of the Dolphin. The majestic dolphin swims the clear blue ocean and reaches flying through the air. <laughs> but then she gets caught in a tuna net. <laughs> and amazingly, the rings are linked. Here's an old blues song written for harmonica. <gasps> I, I don't know what's wrong. I'm sorry. I'll just sit down and finish my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do this little number back in Sydney. Hey, hey, come on! This is a fundraiser! Aren't you gonna leave anything in the tip jar? What have you done? You've ruined my business. No! <laughs> To put on a talent show. No one here has any talent. Oh my god, where did you learn to play piano like that? Play what? Piano, Grizz. That's a piano. Is it now? I always thought it was just a fat lady sitting in the corner. Play some more. Let's hear it. I think we've heard enough. Yeah. Let me sit down for a minute. <laughs> Hey, I sound pretty good on this thing. Fontaine, you're tapping the fat lady's teeth. Love that jazz slang. It's possible that Grizz has always been a genius and just never knew it. Okay, let's see how he did on the IQ test. Okay, well, this doesn't prove anything. Now, some say IQ tests are culturally biased against some group. Yeah. Like groups of morons. Now, Grizz is not a moron. According to my chart, oh, he's an imbecile. Let's try testing his spatial acuity. Try this, hon. No, Grizz, which hole does it fit in? Oh, cranky boss. Get in there, will you? Oh, you stupid darn thing. Oh, ah. Okay, I know last night didn't go so great, but that's just because no one got to hear Lefty Leftowski, the prosthetic polka king. Let's do the prosthetic polka. I don't care if people laugh at Joja. I He's got fingers like Polish sausages. It makes perfect sense. Everybody has some special hidden talent they're born with. Unfortunately, many people never discover theirs. I would never admit this out loud, but Debbie was right. 
Luckily, I discovered my hidden talent under a blanket when I was a teenager during Channel 5's Cheerleader Film Festival. He really is amazing. I still don't get it. I'm the artiste. Why aren't people staring at me? Oh, they are. They're wondering why Mother Nature played such a cruel joke on your parents. <laughs> you just need to find your hidden talent, Lefty. Maybe your talent is that you can fly. Hey, there are stairs to the roof. Look who just walked in. Wow. What are the Baumbergs doing in the dump like this? I'm telling you, discovering a prodigy will get us the attention of the people at the club. He's amazing. Has he ever performed at Carnegie Hall? If by performed at, you mean vomited behind, then yes. Well, he will perform there once I get involved. Oh, I'm sorry, Liz, but anything concerning Grizz has to go through me. You can't be the boss. I'll just go over you. Oh, you mean like Mort did with his car? <laughs> was eat bananas and throw his feces. What can I get you? I don't drink or eat. In fact, I don't put anything in this body. Yeah, and neither do I. There's a two drink minimum. It'd be higher if you could count past two. <laughs> I like this new bitter you. Fine, bring me a pina colada with crushed ice and use Oahu pineapple, not Maui. <laughs> <laughs> oh, barkeep slash virtuoso. Another round. Oh. Look at this. All these rich people clamoring to see Grizz perform? Hmm. How would you feel about a black tie recital? Say, a hundred bucks a ticket? Oh, yeah, baby, money. I can record it, and we'll sell the CDs. Um, I just need someone to push the buttons for me. That's where old Fontaine can come in handy. And all the money will go to the center. You know, minus managerial expenses. Fabulous idea! <gasps> oh, can I perform too? No! no. They were cartoons. You don't want to watch that garbage. What you really want is to bask in the elegant yet simple glory of the haiku. Oh, God. That's only two syllables. Doesn't a haiku have 17 syllables? Yes, Franny. Like this. Franny, on the couch, she understands haiku. A very smart girl. That was only 16 syllables. Darn. Beautiful. <laughs> That's good, Lefty, but don't you need more than one person for synchronized swimming? I'm so depressed. I've tried everything and still haven't found my hidden talent. Why don't you try sketching the human form? Nude, of course. OK, I'll give it a try. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't do anything. Me neither. Let's make this place presentable. A lot of important people are coming. Uh -huh. Hey, this table's white, not black. That was soot. No, it's green. That was lard. Oh, I guess that was some sort of algae. Please, tell me that brown stuff is wood. Oh, do we have any tablecloths? Oh, my God. That's a pizza you ordered four years ago. That's longer than 30 minutes, right? <laughs> it's free! Mom, you can't do this! You have to cancel the recital! Why? Fire Marshal. Permit. Got it. Uh, parking! There's no room for parking on the street. We hired a valet. Oh! Well, then, then because a Blazer can't wear a tie, a black tie, he doesn't have a neck. Oh, this is pointless. I don't have a hidden talent. Oh, I may as well end it all now. Lefty, those are children's vitamins. They're shaped like dinosaurs. Oh, I know. And I'll do it. 
I'll swallow the T-Rex. Just give it up. The only way we'd cancel the recital is if something happened to Grizz. Ooh, really? Hear that, Rex? <laughs> Beer around here? Sorry, Lefty. Right, that'll be, uh, um, uh, two. Fifth. Hey, hey, cut that out. Don't give it away for free. Go backstage and get ready. You want people to think you're a fat slob? Oh, yeah, I'm a fat slob. You tell me all the time. You even put it on me birthday cake. Because? I care. Just get backstage! Wait, what do you notice about my hand? It's withered and kind of scary? No, it doesn't have a beer in it. I'll get it. You just go. Is there still a two-drink minimum? Uh-huh. There's no maximum, though, is there? <laughs> wow, there sure are a lot of important people out there. Yeah, I guess. If it were me performing, I'd be shaking in my boots right now. I am shaking. It's the whiskey. I always shake. Do you mind? Don't worry, I won't look. Ditto here. Whoops. <laughs> I can't believe those idiots paid a hundred bucks a head to see you. The only instrument you should be playing is an organ grinder. <laughs> I know. It's crazy, huh? Well, wish me luck. <laughs> Riley, really, you must come to the club for lunch one of these days. Of course, you'll bring your penis. My penis? I never leave home without it. What exactly goes on in that club, anyway? I just had an orgasm! What, what is that? Vodka, Kahlua, and Amaretto? Uh, yes. That's what I meant. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Blazer, your MC. In case you're wondering, that stands for Master Canalingus. <laughs> and now, the reason we're all here, the boozy Beethoven himself, the idiot on the ivories, Gary! I can't believe Riley kicked me out. I'm wearing a black tie. Just be thankful you don't have to watch that Yeti butcher another classic. Come on, he's brilliant. Listen to that applause. This isn't an artiste. That hairy knuckled ox is nothing but a genetic monstrosity and a little chrome worm glimmer, glimmer. Oh my. Lefty? Is that you? It sure is. Try that again. Shine little glow worm glimmer. Shine little glow worm glimmer. Don't let yourself get dimmer. Light the path below above. And lead us on to love. Figaro! <laughs> okay, that's enough. No offense, but you suck the big one again. What happened to my voice? Maybe you just need music. You know, uh, company men. Da na 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 na. Woke up this morning. Da na 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 na. Dragged my bones out of bed. Man, na, you making my eyes water. And that ain't easy. I don't get it. A minute ago, I could sing, I can sing, I can sing. Look like you don't just need accompaniment. You need Grizz's accompaniment. I can't believe tonight is going off without a hitch. There's something I need to say. Oh, no. You made me love you. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. You made me want you. And all the time you knew it I guess you always knew it Give me, give me, give me, give me What I cry for You know you got the brand of kisses That I die for You know you made me love you Oh, that was so romantic I want you to take me Rip off my clothes and... Oui, that was close. <laughs>
Oh, that was amazing. You were great. No, you were great. No, no, you were great. No. Okay, okay, keep it in your trousers. Get out there and do another song. You guys are a great team. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, man. Leave the singing to Lefty. That's not good. Okay, Lefty, you'll just have to go up there alone. No! I can't believe we had to refund all the money. Well, they did only get to hear two songs. Oh, well, what about the CDs? Yeah, play the tape. I can't believe Ronnie uh -huh. kicked huh? me out. I'm wearing a black tie. Just be thankful you don't have to watch that Yeti butcher another classic. <laughs> Ever notice how different you sound on tape? You idiot! Huh? You recorded the back room, not the stage! I was wondering why you were carrying around a microphone. Microphone? <laughs> I thought I was carrying around a beer. No wonder I couldn't get it open. I don't believe this! I don't know why you're all depressed. I finally find my hidden talent, and now it's gone forever! I guess we're going to lose our space. Liz? What are you doing here? Apparently, some people, mainly the judge whose cat I ran over, think I have a drinking problem. Me! So, uh, I'll be coming here for a few meetings. Well, actually, we're moving to the church. Not this Jew. We're staying here. But without this awful crowd, they give me a headache. That's why I just bought the building. Boys! You go. See a latte. Good news. The doctor says as long as I take care of my hands, I'm going to make a full recovery. <laughs> I'll be able to play again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was so oh no! Oh damn. Anyway, I think it all started when my great-great-grandmother was conceived. Uh, no, wait, huh? it was before that, in Russia, <gasps> in a Oh, anything is better than this. <laughs> oh, yeah, much better.